All right, guys, this is James Osment, and this is uh, a uh, yellow lock that was sent to me by Texas Jim. Uh, I don't know if he built it or not, but uh, this is the uh, the key, the bidding on the key. And uh, I had some issues getting the key out, so what I did, I went ahead and took the lock apart, took the uh, plug out of the lock, and uh, realized what the problem was. There's a uh, There's some homemade pins in here and they're binding up on the uh, plug at the shear line and they're not wanting to allow the key to come out but uh you know as Bosnian Bill says we don't need no stinking key anyways I'm gonna try to give this a shot and try to pick this using a uh, 15 thousandths that I made from a uh, filler gauge and you know I'm pretty low budget right now and uh, but we're gonna see if we can get it done with this here and see about how long it'll take me hopefully it won't take too long uh this is the first yell keyway i've ever picked so if you could just bear with me <clears throat> try to get a better angle on this camera where you guys can see it is my cell phone so probably not the best angle i really need a camera with a tripod but uh let's just see what we can do with this This does have some kind of wicked serrateds and it, it really makes it difficult to get any movement out of the plug at all. Uh, they're, they bind up pretty hardcore. I kind of have to just work them a little bit. And this keyway is very difficult to get a pick in there. And I feel a little slight movement. If I can just get pin two at the shear line. Pin one is uh, uh, like a spool hybrid. Let's see if I can get some movement out of these back pins. I'm on pin four or five, I believe, right now. Not getting any counter rotation at all. So there's probably not a spool there. I haven't looked inside this keyway. I don't remember when I took it apart. I wasn't really paying attention, so I honestly couldn't tell you if this is a five or a six pin lock. This will be my second time to gut it, but like I said, I wasn't paying attention the first time. I'm really not getting any movement out of this core. I'm going to go ahead and reset and try this, pick it this way. Now we're getting some movement. See this lock? As I was saying, I believe in one of my other videos, some locks just really only want to be picked one direction. So uh, some of you guys, if you're having trouble with a with any kind of deadbolt locks or you know door locks, a lot of times if you'll just attempt to pick them in the opposite direction you've been picking them, you may have better success. Now, I've noticed that on Slag. Uh, from the factory, anyway, with factory pins, they seem to be a little bit temperamental and only want to be picked in, in one direction. Uh, you, you run across them where you can pick it either way, but just every now and then you get that lock that's just got a mind of its own. I believe I'm on pin six. I'm getting a lot of movement on this core. And pin one may be overset. I just let's see, pin two. I'm getting more movement out of him. Hopefully he he's set now. It didn't take me near this long to pick it the first time, and now I'm on camera. Is wanting to embarrass me. Let's see. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna start over because this lock's giving me a lot of weird feedback. I believe I've got something set wrong, over set or not set enough. Feels like the plug was kind of in a bind. I'm on pin two. I know he's temperamental, so I kind of want to get him out of the way. I'm going to go to pin three. Yeah, I felt something happening there, not sure quite what.
there is a lot of slack on this core. I've bent my 15 thousandths. I picked a lot of locks with that. Never had that problem. This uh, yellow keyway is kind of kicking my butt here. It's much different from the locks I usually pick. I'm getting absolutely zero feedback from this thing right now. Right. That's pin two, pin three, pin four. I really can't tell if I'm picking warding or if I'm on the pins now. Uh, there, we just got a slight rotation on the core. That was pin two. I just raked across him and think now I got him set. I'm going to run on to three. Nothing on three. Go to four. I got a little movement on four. Go to five. One on pin stack one, the key pin, is a very deep cut. And it has a uh, spool cut into it. So if you just barely nudge one, it's going to want a false set. It's going to actually overset and then give you the impression of a false set. And then you're just going to drive that pin up until everything falls. And uh, I've been doing that with uh, my key pins. Anytime I get an 8 or a 9, when I pin them up, I'll go ahead and cut a spool into it. Narrow the top just to make it a little difficult to sense. And... Uh, I don't believe this thing is going to open the second time around for me. I think I made it mad the first time I picked it. <laughs> Let's see here. Don't be angry with me, Lock. I'm just going to kind of rake across these back pins. They're not wanting to budge at all. Okay, pin two's really crunchy, pin two, and I've just set pin three. This lock has a very crunchy feel, similar to the uh, Wicked Evil Schlage lock I got from Bosnian Bill, that Rowlock lock 67 pinned up, and I'll say that was a pretty nasty lock, but this one here right now is kind of giving me some trouble. It may have been a fluke the first time I picked it, because I, I mean, I picked it almost as soon as I picked it up. And now, I'm on one, I'm going to try to nudge him up. And there we go, we got it open, guys. Alright, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, see if I can flip this camera around. I'll go ahead and take the lock out. I'm trying to use a cell phone to make a lock video is kind of difficult. Keep the lock over here where you guys can see it in my hand. Try to put this where you can see my pin and tray here, at least. And uh, this lock's definitely been worked on uh, by really guy only knows who. It's not got the proper C clip in it, but we'll figure this out. Go ahead and get this clip off of here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing with this lock. Hopefully it's in view. All right, there we go. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this just slightly so I can get it lined up so I don't drop anything when I push it out with my follower. Go ahead and get that. Put the core over there. Let's dump these and see what we're dealing with. Uh-oh, I kind of got those backwards. Let's see. Get over there where you belong, buddy. This is working out very odd for me. Right. See, that's why the key isn't working. These pins are 
catching in there and uh, you, the key will go in just fine it just will not come out so probably just a little cleanup needed to be done on it on these pins maybe uh, nudge that one out oh yeah these are wicked pins Geez, that looks like the pins I put in one of the locks I sent to uh, Texas Jim. That, that pin is completely stuck in there. Okay, there we go. Put the core over here out of the way. Let's get down the brass tacks here. Get these pins taken out. Doing this backwards. So one, two. Aha! I haven't looked at these yet. Now I know where all the crunchiness was coming from. Oh, these are good top pins. I love these drivers. These are awesome. This is giving me ideas. <laughs> And that's all. That's all we got. Let me get these lined up and I'll grab that camera and uh, give you guys a shot of what I had to pick here. Hopefully the uh, lighting will be proper. Grab a flashlight so you guys can see what was in this lock and uh well I guess I can't access my settings from there and might be too much light I don't know this camera's not really wanting to zoom all that great See if I can zoom this in. Yeah, this video is pretty grainy, but uh, I guess it's the light. Too much light, maybe. One of these days, I'm gonna invest in a better camera with a tripod where I can get much better videos. But you guys can, well, I guess you can't see. Uh, these pins are pretty wicked if I could ever figure this out Put the light back here. Here we go. It helps a little Yeah, these winds are pins are pretty wicked. They're uh, Some homemade pins. I guess I'll take a photo of it. I could take a better photograph because of the flash and uh Maybe I'll put it at the end of the video if I can figure out how. I don't have a computer with editing software right now. <clears throat> with editing software right now, but uh, I'll see what I can do. But anyway, that's the video. That's the yell lock uh, that I got from Texas Gym. And I'll be posting up some other videos if I can figure out my lighting and my zoom situation here. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know... Don't go breaking into anything, man. It ain't worth doing the 10 years for B&E plus another 10 for using a pick. I mean, it just ain't worth it. Y'all stay out of trouble. Have a good day.